G'day everyone, don't you know it, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. So today, we're gonna make up a mix for the solid filled retaining wall that we're making. Different types of mixes or different ways that we mix give us different strengths and consistencies. So a consistency being if it's thick, like a, a dollop of whipped cream, or thin, like a sloppy cow manure. Strengths being a 15 MPA or something like a 32 MPA. So 15 being weaker and then 32 being harder. We want to be going for a 25 to 32 MPA inside this wall to hold everything together. We've put steel rods all the way through it, vertically, and we'll also put a couple horizontally as well. We've got stone in this mix. Stone will help bind the concrete and sand to all of those metal uprights, and then everything becomes one unit, and that's the kind of finish that we want. So this type of mix that we're gonna do is gonna be one that's for that. It's gonna be fairly runny, but it's also gonna be very strong. So we're gonna put a fair bit of cement in it. The other thing that we put into it the entire way through is a waterproofing compound. So because it's a retaining wall, we've got land or soil pressed up against it. The last thing we want is to take a shortcut now and then have rising damp inside the house later on. So as we make each and every mix, what we're gonna be doing is putting an additive in it that makes it waterproof. The back of the wall, if you haven't seen the photos, is rubber membranes and there's also a, a builder's plastic put over it as well. And we've given that three coats, and we've given that three coats of rubber membrane and a tar paint as well as the black plastic and the scoria. We've also run an uggy drain along the bottom of it. So we're trying to keep as much of that moisture and water away. And if there is water or moisture against the wall, we want and we wanted to run away and get, get rid of that moisture as quickly as we can. So here we go, check it out. Always protect your hands on something like this. You don't want cement on your paw. You don't want cement powder all over your hands, all the waterproofing all over your hands. They become too rough and your hands start to split open. This mix will consist of about eight to 10 liters of water. So two to two, to two and a half gallons of water. 800 mil or a pint and a half of the waterproofing. Half a bag of cement, 20 kilo. Four sand to, four sand to six quarter minor stone. done that we let it roll for about 20 minutes get a really good thorough mix we'll add a little bit more water and then that mix is done so what I'll do is I'll show you putting the, the mix in Super important also to ram it down as you go to get rid of any air bubbles or if the mortar's been caught on any of the brick ties and things like that.
And you see, you can see here, it's been solid filled. That's wet, it's gonna go off. We've got the horizontal bar here. These are all of our verticals at 225 centers. And that's filled up all the way. Now you'll notice that I haven't made this smooth along the top edge here. The reason I haven't got that smooth along that top edge is because it helps bind the next load of concrete against it. If it's super smooth, then it gives it a perfect line. If it's rough and undulating, that's a big word for a carpenter, or undulating, undulating, undulating. I'm gonna say it's undulating, and it's undulating, that gives it more body to hold onto when we pour the next load. And the next load we put down is gonna be about that height there, maybe a bit higher, maybe those ties there. So we'll brick up to there tomorrow, and then next week I'll fill all of that in again. So that's how we solid fill a retaining wall. If you got any questions or queries about any of that, let me know ASAP and I'll answer them for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching and like always, stay unreal banana pill. I'll see you in the soup.